Hello, Kat here. In today's video, we're going to make this memorial vase. This is a beautiful design originally made by Jennifer Maker and it's actually in her free library. I will add the link below. And you just need a vinyl of two different colors, black and red in this case, and a vase I got from the dollar store. For this project, you will need the fine point blade. So check that yours is stored correctly in that V spot and that it's clean from debris. You'll need a sticky mat too. This is the standard grip mat. I found it worked really well for this project. Top tip, when you're not using your mat, make sure you keep the plastic cover on top of it to protect it. Make sure that no dust or things get stuck to it when you're not using it. So I like to roll this down. Just make sure the vinyl is completely flat. Make sure the roller is clean before you begin this process. But if it's really stuck down, it's less likely to move whilst it's in the machine cutting. If it moves, it will ruin your cut completely. So just make sure it's stuck down flat before you start. Once you have the SVG from Jennifer Maker's blog, you will need to upload it into Design Space. So make sure you unzip the file before you start. Choose the SVG file and then upload it into DS. Now you will just need two different cuts, two different mats. You can use the same mat twice, obviously. Uh, one for the black vinyl part and the other one for the red for the birds. Once I remove this from the machine, you can see that the trees have cut really neatly. They're absolutely perfect, but the font didn't cut as clean as I would have liked. So I just removed that and I will show you up close what that looks like. It uh, skipped some of the letters, it got some of them stuck completely, it just didn't cut them out. Um, I find this happens quite a bit with any kind of scripty font, so if you are wanting something really clean with a vinyl, um, go for a more sort of bold font with less swirls and you might have a little bit more luck. Um, it also depends on the type of vinyl that you use. So the Oracle 631 worked fine for the trees, um, but I found that I was tracing leaves sometimes, the leaves were coming off in various places, and when I switched and recut the font, I did it in a Cricut permanent vinyl, which cut absolutely perfectly, and I did obviously change the font as well. You can see me weeding out the bits I don't need here with my tool, but this was a really clean cut, so it really does depend. Cheap vinyl will never ever work for you, so buy decent vinyl and it will work every time. However, bargain tip for you, Cricut transfer tape. It is great, it is wonderful. You need the strong grip tape for glitter vinyl and things like that. But for most of my projects, I use normal contact paper that I can buy in a roll from Walmart or wherever, home hardware, contact paper. It lasts absolutely ages, you can reuse it, and it's really great if you want to use vinyl on card projects as well, because it doesn't pull up the cardstock, it doesn't ruin the cardstock or stick to it like contact paper, uh, like Cricut transfer tape would, because it's strong. This isn't as strong, it's strong enough for the vinyl, but not too strong that it's gonna ruin your project. This is the vase I got from the dollar store, it was $4. It's nine inches tall and 3.75 inches across. And you can do this project with any size. This just worked for the size of this project. But again, in design space, you could always resize it if you had a different size vase. I would suggest making sure that you have a completely flat vase because trying to lay vinyl on anything that's not straight up and down going around would be definitely challenging. I started in the middle because actually this is what Jennifer Maker suggests in her instructions and it actually worked really well. So once I'd stuck the middle tree down, I then tilted the vase, smoothed it down. You just want to make sure it's as flat as possible and that there's no air bubbles. So start from one end or the middle or whichever works for you. And here it was kind of overlapping the transfer tape and I didn't want it to overlap on my design. So I just readjust that there, but make sure it's completely pushed down and then peel that transfer tape or contact paper away, gently back on itself. And here I had some of the leaves come up with me and I think that that's normal, that's gonna happen when you've got intricate designs. So if you pull it back on itself and just pay attention as you're unrolling it, that all the design stays on the vase in the right spot as you do that. 
When it comes to putting the birds on the vase, you can really put them anywhere you like. You can have two together, three together, them on their own, spread them out, place them on the branches. It's completely up to you where they go on this design. There are little spots on there and you can look at the pictures on Jennifer Maker's blog to see where she put hers and you can look at my picture to see where I put mine. But it really is up to you. It's about your creativity. So put them wherever you fancy. You actually could also use a frosted glass spray on the inside of this vase and that would create a really nice look once you put a battery powered tea light inside and it would create a lantern rather than a vase. So there's an idea, you could put different trees on there or different birds and even have it as a Christmas type vase. There's probably many, many different ways you could utilize this project or do something similar. When adding the quote, it's exactly the same process. You want to add your transfer tape or contact paper to the front, press it down thoroughly and then peel the backing off before putting it on the vase. Now I did forget to mention that before I put anything on my vase, I did clean it with alcohol before I started. Any surface that you're going to put vinyl onto, you want to make sure it's completely clean before you begin. As with the trees, I started in the middle and once I had stuck the centre down, I could see roughly that it was going to be in a straight line all the way around and I just pressed it down so the vinyl stuck to the top of the vase. Push it down all the way around, making sure that all the letters are stuck before you then pull back the transfer tape. Here's your finished project. Now the quote at the top, if you didn't see it, it does say, no one is truly lost when they remain in the hearts and minds of those who love them. And I actually do believe that. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you had fun creating this beautiful memorial vase with me. If you did, please give it a like and thumbs up and remember to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss my next crafty video. Thanks again, folks, and I will see you on the next one.